So the future rounds of invitations could be conducted based on certain categories. These categories, which I've shared on the screen here, and I've also given a link in the description. If you're part of these categories, you could expect to uh, get your invitations from the pool. So that means, for example, if your occupation is in demand, you are um, from an IT field, maybe a software engineer, or you are from medical profession. You could be a family physician or family practitioner. You guys are in demand. Or uh, let's say from the transport sector, you are a truck driver. Yes, truck drivers are in demand in Canada. Or you have uh, a French background, you're proficient in the French language. So Canadian government has uh, ruled out these categories, okay? So once again, I will uh, keep on um, stressing the importance and I do emphasize on those individuals who are from uh, the medical profession or you guys are from the IT field, you guys are the ideal candidates. Truck drivers from the Middle East, if you are in Dubai, Qatar or Saudi Arab or the neighboring countries, you guys are also in demand um, depending on your work experience and whether you have uh, the trucking license, which is uh, accepted in Canada. Okay, so these are the categories for the year 2023. Uh, and for those who do not belong to these categories in Canadian immigration, you do not need to be disappointed because these categories will be changed in the future. So regardless of anything, make sure your express entry profile is activated. If you don't get an invitation at the federal level, you can narrow down a specific uh, immigration program at the provincial level. It could be Alberta, it could be Manitoba, it could be Saskatchewan, it could be Ontario. Okay, you could be given an invitation, a nomination uh, from the provincial level if you have strength in your profile. If you stand out in the competition and you will stand out based on your profession being in demand, your excellent command of the English language, um, your master's or bachelor's degree, and the fact that you've done your uh, equalization uh, from World Education Service, and at the same time, your work experience and you being in the right age bracket. Okay, uh, recently I've had clients who were given invitations from Manitoba, and those were from the medical profession. I've also had uh, uh, clients given invitation in entrepreneur immigration from the province of Ontario. So if you're not sure uh, what to do, if you think you are qualified, you are eligible for Canadian immigration, but you're not sure how to move forward, um, get in touch with us at the given link here, book your appointment, we'll have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom session, or you can come in person at our office and we'll have a detailed discussion and finally narrow down um, a specific province for you, or if you meet the eligibility criteria above and beyond uh, for federal immigration, and that's only possible if you can, if your CR score can reach as much as 486 points. Okay, because that was the last cutoff score. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. Uh, we'll come back with more videos and we'll catch you guys later. Thank you. Bye-bye.